It's I, a, I, it's perfect. That's a perfect soup. Thank you, Amy, for this movie. Yeah, you're you doing can, great. Also, I love oh, this sorry. movie. Oh, sorry, Jake Hamilton, Fox Chicago. <laughs> I just rewatched Parks and Rec, man. It holds up oh, so great. well. It holds oh, up thanks, so man. well. What you say so with happy. comedy? That's that's always tough, man. Yeah, and you're I'm, so good at it. And it's I love also it. such a positive show yes. that it makes me so happy. I, that people I need are something. We need that these days. Something's happening. He's in his conference. Okay. Oh, okay. I, mess, okay. I messed up. No, you I messed up the set. You nailed it. Oh, well, I cut it all off, man. I know. Used to I be changed. bigger. Well, it used to be. It used to be much longer, and it required a lot more gel, yes, and it was, it was just too it. much. It was too much. We yeah. understand. Beautiful. Awesome. Good to see you, man. Wonderful to see you, sir. Obviously, one of the big stories coming out of this movie was this idea they had to do a take two on sure. Sonic, just to kind of readjust the look of them. Looking back at your career in that theme, what is something you wish you could have a take two on? Great whether it be question. an audition or a performance or whatever the case oh, may be. Oh, man, there have been auditions in my life. So what I do oftentimes, and this is probably a, just a piece of my anxiety, that when I, after I do an audition, when I when you get back in the elevator to go back down to the lobby, I will do the audition 20 more times in my head being like, why didn't I do that? What the hell am I doing? What's wrong with me? I will do that almost after every, even if I do well in the audition, I won't, in my head I'll be like, what could I have done differently? And in the head, because you prepare for it for hours and hours and you have like, you get like a minute and a half right. in a room. So, Trust me, I, I'm aware, man. Yeah, I, you I guys have that. four yeah. minutes to yeah. fit in a thousand things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get that. Is there one in particular that you're thinking, God, if I could have had another shot at that? Um, I don't know. I mean, of course there's roles that I, you know, when you audition for like, oh, how cool would that yeah. have been? But I don't know, not one particular. Your James Bond audition? Oh, I think, my James I mean, Bond audition. I feel like I tanked. I got in there and they go, okay, action. I'm like, it's James. Yeah. Bond James. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> They're like, how do you want your martini? You're like stirred. Please. I was like, just give it in like yeah. a tiny yeah. cup. Yeah. Give me a Dixie cup and like throw some milk in it. Yeah. And they're like, no, I screwed up the audition. For I that. would kill to see that James Bond. I was sir. wearing a kilt, also. Isn't that weird, dude? I've seen worse James Bond I movies. Have done, I I've done seen over the course of twenty-four different movies. I've seen far oh, worse. Yeah. I love this idea of having a gift. Your teeth it, are so white. Thank you. Your teeth are white. It's, your eyes are blue. You're doing it all for TV, it's baby. It's all natural. Oh, I Woke up like this. That's insane. Woke up like this. Oh my Woke goodness. Up. Oh, keep this interview going. I like this. I love this idea of having a gift and using it for your friends. For Sonic, it's he has a speed. He wants to use it to save his friends. If your friends were in trouble, what's the gift that you would use to save them? Oh, uh, well, give me an example of how they're in trouble. Very similar situation to Sonic. Oh, speed then. I mean, you would do you do have that. the speed? Oh no, uh, you're talking about a gift that I yeah, have. Yeah, a gift that you I have. I think the only thing that I have that kind of make I, I I can make stuff up pretty quickly. So that has helped me out of yep. some situations, and uh, I feel very fortunate that I get to perform in front of a big audience like we did Chicago Theater, right. and make people laugh. Uh, that is, uh, especially nowadays with everything happening, uh, I really like the opportunity that I can uh, help and aid somebody be happier yeah. and laugh. And these days, man, we'll take that. Yeah. We'll take that and run with it. You know, when you do a movie you like this, them. you gotta whiten you, you, Do you whiten your teeth? Of course I will. No, I do like a whitening toothpaste. That's whitening. Yeah, I don't do the strips because it makes my teeth hurt. Of course, so yeah. you've tried it though. Yeah, oh god, yeah, I've tried it. <laughs> We're in, the, we're in the TV world, man. It's really, you've seen my questions. This is all I got going for I me. I love it. Oh, this is all I got. Oh, you're doing great. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Um, when you do a movie like this, they're inevitably, or they, I feel like I'm distracting you. I, I can't you know, see. There's so much white coming you, out of your teeth. When you, do a, when, you do a movie like, when you do a movie like this, yes, there are always going to be so many tie-ins. There are going to be toys, and, and I think I think you guys have like a deal with Jack in the Box. And there's do gonna we? Be, yeah, I think it's like a, oh. like a, like a whatever the Jack in the Box equivalent of a Happy Meal is. You guys oh, have that. Cool. It's a whole thing. Um, well, you've been a part of a lot of projects. What's the weirdest product tie-in you've ever seen with one of your projects? Oh wow! Um, uh, I don't, I don't know. I've seen a lot of John Ralphio shirts that are like third, third-party yes. shirts that I have nothing to do with, and NBC has nothing to do with. But uh, I remember they came up to me. They were like, "Hey, do you want me to tell these people to stop?" I was like, "No, I think oh, it's kind of cool. It's amazing. Cool. I don't make any money off it, but it's kind of cool." But I've seen some. Crazy, like there's a one, a baby onesie yeah. that says like, uh, changing my diaper is the worst or something like that. Like, <laughs> I love stuff like yeah. that because I'm a little nerd artist. Right. that would do, you know, I I don't have art skills, but I love looking at that stuff yeah. online. And to be fair, John Raphael is at least in in my text groups the most used GIF. Oh, what? Which it's, one do you use? Is it the worst? You're the worst. The worst. I get I get that a lot. Yeah. It's. I mean, do wait. Do people send that to you? No. Uh, I, when Parks and Rec was out, I don't really go to bars very often, right. but when I used to. Uh, people would, when they were drunk, come up to me and like you scream it in my ear. That used to be the Which thing. Which you love. That, that goes oh, over so well. Give me a break. Yeah. I can't hear it on my left ear anymore. <laughs> hey, man, dude, I've always wanted to talk to you, and thank hey, you for, for not letting me down. You're a great guy. to talk together more dude, other when stuff. you come to uh, Chicago, please let me know. You have a yeah, great we'll couple of follow-up We'll be back this year next year. You're in, man. All right. Good to see you again, my Good friend. Good to see you, too. Obviously, one of the stories coming out of this film was that the filmmakers got a take two on the look for Sonic. They kind of readjusted right. his look. Right. I'm curious, in that theme, if you could have a take two on any aspect of your career, an audition, a performance, a film choice, what's a take two you wish you could have? Man, that's a great question. Typically, I don't like to think that way because like, even the ones that don't necessarily work, you learn something from. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, like what? Boy, yeah, uh, <laughs> like, um, uh, well, I don't know. Some uh, like some things are out of your control. Right. Right. Nobody sets out to make a bad movie. Of course. Everyone wants to make a good movie. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. the magic just doesn't work. Like yeah. Scorsese's made a bad movie. I, I don't tell him that. Yeah. But, no, um, it's between us. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have many regrets about um, uh, you know certain film choices. But it's a great question. I'd love to like think on that one a little more. We'll sit here. Okay, great. We got, we got, we got time. Yeah. We okay. got time, right? Uh, Three, turns out I don't yeah. have any. Nothing, nothing. We fast turns forward. Turns out yeah. I wouldn't do anything yeah. different. All right, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Um, I love this idea for Sonic of he has a great power, and rather than use it for himself, he uses it to help his friends. Right. If your friends were mm. in trouble, what is the power that you possess, that James Marsden possesses, that you would use to help them? Uh, humor. Humor? Yeah. Joke um, their way out of the situation. Great elixir for uh, bad situations. Yeah, ease it, just ease uh, it a little bit. And presence. Yeah. I think sometimes we always want to fix everything for yep. other people. Yeah. Um, but just being there and listening. Fair enough. Fair. What is your best, your favorite dad joke? Oh, man. My kids would be able to answer that quicker, <laughs> quicker than me. I'm I'm a pun guy. Are you? Right? Oh, so I love like, a good pun. Yeah, so I don't really have any like you know yeah, snappy, snappy jokes yes, in the or anything. Yeah. But like yeah. I will turn anything into a. Do pun. you do you do the like? Oh, I'm tired. Hi, tired. I'm dad. Uh, you ever, do you ever do that no, one? No, but I'm gonna remember that right one, that, or oh, I'm gonna forget it because I can't remember a joke. Your kids are gonna hate me after this interview. <laughs> no, you're gonna they, come back with all of they these. They love it because it, it gives them opportunity to make fun of me. Fair right? enough. Fair yeah. enough. You know, uh, whenever you're in a, a movie like this, a big movie like this, there are always gonna be like a ton of product tie-ins. There were right. toys, there's gonna be more video games. I think you guys like a deal with Jack in the Box. I think that's, you're gonna live with like a, right? a Sonic well, you know more meal. than I do, yeah. A, a little bit of homework I did. All right, You've good. been a part of obviously a lot of big movies. What's the weirdest product tie-in that you've seen associated with one of your movies? <laughs> that's a good question too, man. I remember when we did the second X-Men movie, and I didn't know anything about the product tie-in, but uh, I went, in watching the, the completed film, mm -hmm. Hugh Jackman goes as Wolverine to the refrigerator, and opens the refrigerator, and the entire refrigerator is stacked with Heineken beers. <laughs> There's nothing else yeah. in the refrigerator, just only only yeah. Heineken. Yeah. So I'm like, that's a lot of beer. Yeah, I think yeah, Heineken yeah. paid I think, for uh, I think, Cyclops special yeah, effects. Yeah, I don't think Hugh needs to like cons have a considering look on his face because there's nothing else in there to grab. <laughs> he was like really debating. And I was like, what he wanted? Whoa, what they must well, have given some cash. For to that. be fair, I'm a single man who lives alone with my dog. That's basically what my fridge looks like too. <laughs> right. It's just and nothing. Maybe a bag of Jack and Box. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm trying to decide <laughs> what, I, what is the combination that I want to put these two together. Right. Yeah. Hey. Do I do I do I drink it cold yeah. or do I heat it up? Yeah. Yeah. Possibilities yeah. are endless. Yeah. Yeah. You know, right now uh, movies are all about the the. The, the cinematic universe, bringing different characters from different worlds together yeah. and sort of having them play in the same sandbox. If you could bring, for Sonic 2, any other video game character out there and just throw them in there and see how they interact together. Well, I'm going back to my favorite video game Let's characters, go. which I did spend a lot of time, you know, figuring out the Mario worlds, yeah. right? Like, yeah. that was a huge portion of my, my childhood. Um, and those two squared off in pop culture yeah. for a long period of time. Yeah. Those were the two icons yeah. of Sega and Nintendo. Um, but it'd be cool. But the the game I played the most was Nintendo 64 Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Oh, so Goldeneye. Yes. Yeah, I would see Pierce Brosnan, yes. James Bond, and Sonic. Yeah. I know we have to wrap, but we were debating this outside. Right. Was using Odd Job cheating? Uh, I don't remember <clears throat> Odd Job's cheat. So he was basically Odd Job was. Super so short, short the, the and then you, and you get gun. knives and you just stab people and you could oh, never I find them. I was too busy doing the circular oh, strafe. Yes, I would do the circular strafe where you just kind of point the the oh. the, 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 the uh, weapon. I'm going to say yeah. in the, into the center and yes, but many many. I mean, you play that game in five hours yes. and go by, and I was just like, I have and to when, quit. And when someone else says Golden Eye, two people light up when they yep. play. Hey yep. man, it's always a pleasure talking to you, man. Good talking Good to guy, you man. too. Thank you. Thank